Right, good evening. It's four minutes past eight, um, and we are live, apparently. Hi, I don't know if I've got, actually got anyone watching at the moment. Um, oh, I've got three people in. Who have I got in the, in the house at the moment? Do you want to uh, say your name? You can put a little, I don't know if you're, if you're watching uh, on a computer or whatever, you should be able to chat to me, um, so if you can type in your name. So anyway, yeah, what I'm planning to do, um, I asked for a few, uh, who have we got in, ye oldie gamer Steve, good evening Squire, Mr. Milestar, how you doing buddy? Thanks for uh, tuning in on a Thursday night, uh, this is actually the second live stream that I've done this week, Mr. Bleed Easy, how you doing mate? And Mr. Rafael Ceres Campos. I hope I've said that not too uh, wrong. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I what I'm planning to do, um, you guys can nominate a game and I will give it a go. How you doing, Ian? Um, if I've got the game, I'll play it. If I don't have it, obviously I can't play it. Um, what are, you probably, I don't know if you've looked at the, the title. How you doing, Mark? Nice to see you, mate. You and I need to get a live stream, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I'm planning to do is, if you look at the title, um, I'm going to play games that you chaps kind of mention, but just to kind of give it a bit of a theme, I thought I would work my way through uh, Interceptor Software, or is it Interceptor Micro's back catalogue, um, they were quite an infamous, how you doing Russ, nice to see you mate, Yo, I like how you always say hi Alan, it's Russ, well it says Retro Russ, so I know it's you, it's like uh, my dad, my dad would phone in his mobile and it would come up, Dad, and then he would say, Hi Alan, it's Dad, I says, I know it's you, because it says your name in the phone. Um, anyway, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way through uh, Interceptor Micros on the Commodore 64, I think they also put out some stuff on the uh, Commodore VIC-20. So, let's just bat in, so I hope you're all doing alright, at least it's almost the weekend, which is always good, excuse me a little second. In fact, does somebody want to give me a game just to kick things off? I actually spent. Um, how you doing, Scott? Yeah, I'm. I'm good, mate. I'm absolutely wonderful. Um, things are. Can you look it up? How you doing, Doug? Nice to see you, mate. Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to any non interceptor micro game just to kind of kick things off, and then we'll give. Uh, we'll give. I'll open up Game Base and load up some. Crap games because believe you me, most of them were indeed pish. Um, I tell you one thing about living with a, a teenager: you put your laptop on, not your laptop, you put your computer on, and see the amount of shit that pick that put, you know that springs up on the screen. What was it? Discord. She's installed something called Discord, which I've got no idea what it is. It came up and it's like any spinning. Uh, spinning uh, joystick thing, so I don't know what the hell she's put up. Yeah, you did, uh, Doug, you did mention a list of games. Can you remember what they were? Yeah, let's kick off with Forbidden Forest, because it's a good game, right? How, I take it, is the volume of my, vo my voice all right? I'll be surprised if it's not, because I've got a loud voice. I think most, uh, mo Discord is good. I don't even know what it is. What is it, Scott? My daughter, she's got her own computer next door. She's got a computer at her mum's, and yet she still sits in this thing, and she fannies about with it. In fact, I spent ages looking for this. Cool. Um, yeah, Discord, what the hell is it? Big Ben 1984. <laughs> well, come to that one, Mark. Right, you're not going to tell me what Discord is. The gaming version of Slack. You're talking to a 51-year-old guy here. I've got no idea what Slack is, other than... Uh, other than, would you call it, the opposite of a uh, tight as slack. Uh, right, anyway, let's let's uh, load up. What did we say? Forbidden Forest. It's actually a great game. I'm just going to, yeah, okay. Got 12 people in. Lovely. Lovely. How you doing? Gamer, gamer, personal message board that requires invites. I don't quite know what that means. Right, let's load up my uh, game base. Now, if anybody's not seen game base before, it's quite a, an old uh, front end. It's it uses it's. I mean, it's a front end for any emulator. It's a pain in the arse to get set up, but see, once it works, it's wonderful. I mean, I've got. I'm looking at my Commodore sixty four thing. I've got twenty five thousand 
You have 25,700 games in it. It's all categorised. You've got publisher, developer, coding, graphics. So you can you can do searches. So what I'm going to do is, well, I'm not going to set it to Interceptor at the moment because we're going to play Forbidden Forest. Now, I like the original. I was never a big fan. Hang on, let me move this over so I can see the comments. I was never a big fan. Uh, you should create a main Meister Discord server. I don't even know what Discord is, so what chance have I got? If you want to do it for me, by the way, I don't. Uh, I'm not up for Patreon, as you know. But if anybody wants to send me some of these uh, KP, what are they called? Uh, oh, blame me. What are they called? McCoy's beef beef flavored peanuts. They are absolutely. They're wonderful. Um, they're just the best peanuts ever. So if anybody wants to send me some of them to try, um, just let me know. Right, anyway, let's... Yeah, I think Forbidden Forest was probably... It was one of the first kind of horror games that I ever saw. Um, and what really, really set it apart... Um, what was I going to say? Is... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just looking at a message for you, Scott. Yeah, I can't really disclose it on the internet, but yeah. So I didn't actually realise it was yourself, mate. Um, maybe next time I'm through at Drum Chapel, Scott will pop in, you can explain what Discord does. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, Forbidden Forest, it's it's one of these games. It's uh, it's got, obviously, it's got parallax scrolling. It's got multiple levels, and most uh, interestingly, the music changes, sort of depending on what you're actually doing, so... Discord is a chat thing, sort of like IRC. I remember that back in the day. That was before we had uh, the interweb and forums. Right? Anyway, like, I'm getting distracted here. You don't want to hear me talk pish, so let me have a wee look. Forbidden Forest, where is it? F O R A. Forbidden Fortress, where am I now? Why can't I see it for, uh, hang on a second, I need, right, here we go, Forbidden Forest, right, ding, dang, do, right, let's get this bad boy up and, up and running, right, I need to set this so you guys can see what I'm actually doing, so it's going to be that, and there we go, okay, whoops, what happened, I need to switch on, Bink. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do is move this across because I've got to keep my devilishly handsome self in the picture, obviously. There we go, like that. I'll actually need to work on my uh, on this thing because I was watching the uh, Nova Bug Chris. He did a, a live stream and he had he had his like his face appear on the wee TV and all that. It was all really really fancy stuff. Um, I don't really have the... Well, in fact, yeah, I can yeah, imagine how you can do it. You just basically have a, a photograph of a TV and then you can resize it. But anyway, you know what I'm like. It's all basic stuff with myself, so... Bonus points if anybody can uh, tell me what that tune is. It was a game, I think it was. I'm sure I've done an airplane in it. How's the, the volume, by the way? Is the volume all right? If somebody can let me know settings joystick and we'll go for controller xbox i think right now we all know the story by now jack alien who was jack does anybody know who jack alien is i mean that guy must have way too much time on his hands i mean virtually every every one of the twenty-five thousand games has got a jack alien intro just mental so i'm just looking at yeah, you, yeah, you know what, Scott. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm no frills. I'm uh, sellotape and washing up liquid bottles. That's what I am. I'm, um, pretty basic stuff, but you know what? You wouldn't have it any other way. But hopefully, you wouldn't be watching this, would you? Right. Let me just. Why is that going all small? It's because I resized the screen. Hang on a minute. Come on, get it with it, Alan. Right. Okay. I'll have to do. I think. Right, now we don't want extra lives, unlimited lives, unlimited arrows, nope, 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 I always play in easy because I'm pish, I 
and press fire button. Just let me know how the volume good. Hopefully my voice, you can hear it, but not too much. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, since the screen is kind of like that, but I'm going to, I'm going to squish it up a wee bit. No, that's Right, anyway, that'll have to do just now. There we go. Who's that? Okay, if I make myself a wee bit weird, I might be a little blocked. It doesn't matter, let's play the game. Spend half the time. Bottom shape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, run. I always remember letting my mum see this game and she thought it was really, really impressive. The only thing that. Whoa busy looking at comments. The only thing that does annoy me about this game is a little dance that he does after a level. Come on. Come on. Good evening Mr. S sorry S sorry STT um from all the way from Norway. Wonderful. I am truly an international channel a few people have asked me for, oh, run, for uh, subtitles, because of a Scottish accent. Even now that spider sprite looks awesome. Ah, oh, you coward. That is, the, the, the parallax scroll in this game is amazing, I mean it's technically, yeah, it's chunky. Ah. It's uh, chunky graphics, but it's so impressive looking. <laughs> I'm sure I've played this in the, on the, uh, you know what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to minimise my, my head after I've finished this game because, you know, you don't want to watch my head, you'd rather see the screen, I'll make my uh, head smaller, and I'll make the, the gaming screen. What I usually do with this game is just keep firing up the way and hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on, hey! Old skulls are still there! <laughs> ah. Yeah, it would be nice if you could, uh, it would be, <laughs> it would be nice if you could, uh, skip this a little bit. The contrary to popular belief, I don't have a red face, it's just that the light in this, uh, whoa, the light in this room gives me that kind of red complexion. Oh yeah, that was close. Ah. I always thought this was a really odd level, but then there again, <laughs> every level is. Ah, ah. One more, I'm guessing. Hey! The farthest level of parallax is made of sprites. Ah, right, okay. So thanks, for have got 16 people in. Thanks for, for joining in, chaps. A live stream would not be a live stream unless I had live people watching it. What I'll do is... I'll, uh, we'll play... I mean, I hate this level. Pretty basically. Again, I tend to just keep shooting up the way. Ah, arse. He's on fire. Yeah, it's chunky, 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 chunky vision sprites. But it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful game. Like, when it does that, I don't know any other way other than to leg it until he kind of appears. Oh, bugger off. The thing is, this game, you know, it, would be a, it was probably written by Paul Norman all on his own. He probably did the, the sound, the graphics, everything. Right, let's just... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
obviously the sequel you could kind of run into the screen. So it was kind of pseudo 3D, it was it was clever. But I think it came on a, it came on a, a multi-load, I'm sure. If anybody's got any friends that has not subscribed to me, can you get one person to subscribe so I can hit that elusive 2300? My sub levels have been going up and down more times than Katie Price's knickers. Honestly, I keep almost getting to 2300 and then it falls down again. Hey, come on, I'm making it's almost done out of this. Right, okay. That is actually, yeah, it looks like somebody they've employed a kid to kind of draw the trees. How you doing, Ox? Nice to see you, mate. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm thinking, who the hell is Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, I've got you. I've got you. It's quite funny how. Uh, it's quite funny how just uh, how some people always I thought that was serious. I mean, my acting was absolutely shit, but you know what? It's a good laugh. Yeah, I'll need to try and come up with something um, for a, a sequel. I don't know, featuring the Big Twenty or something like that. But yeah, it was fun making it. But yeah, I think uh, uh, some people on YouTube, especially. The gaming community, they just they, they have a complete uh, a complete comedy bypass, you know. Yeah. But you know what? I thought it was uh, right, you know that's uh, that's Forbidden Forest. I thought uh, one guy, I can't remember who it was, said that his girlfriend thought it was hilarious, so you know what? Jobs are good and Right, let's uh, start we'll go have a look at Interceptor software, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, there's a little, you can do a little quick filter, publisher, let's see, inter, uh, excuse me very much, Interceptor, blimey, there are, according to this, there are 39 games on the Commodore 64, so let's, Let's just kick it right off. This is, and I think, did you mention it? Um, yeah, we'll get to China Miner shortly. It's put number six in the list. What I'm going to do is, how you doing, Mark? I'm just going to play, how, how you doing, Mr. Field Channel? I'm going to just play each game once, I think, unless I only last 30 seconds. No laughing at the back. Um, then I'll, I'll maybe play it again, but I want to try and get through them all. Even the text adventures. Um, right, I think, Mark, did you mention Aquanaut? I think you did. Right, Aquanaut is the first game by Interceptor Software. How you doing, Mr. Axel Gaming? Nice to, nice to have you join us. It's funny, I was talking to somebody, who was I talking to? I was talking to somebody the other day there about live streams and, you know, and when you actually, when you, you stop and think about it, um, it's a bizarre thing. I'm sitting here basically talking to a camera um, and and yet I kind of feel like I'm in with company and I am I mean at the end of the day all you guys are uh, on the end of the a computer and you are talking but it's only my voice that you can hear it's a bizarre thing actually if you think about it too much it can be a wee bit scary I remember once I was doing a live stream a couple of years ago and I just became so self aware that there were people watching me and if I was to go quiet nobody would talk and I'm like shit and I think I made an excuse to go and put the kettle on something like that anyway let's learn. I'm talking way too much uh, I'm going to move that across here so I can see the top chat and let's load up Aquanaut right, I'm going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, I'm going to make my oh I've just turned myself off hang on dink right 
you can go down there a wee bit like so. I don't know why I've got that main meister thing. I mean, it's not even... <laughs> right, anyway. No, I'm going to switch it off. It's a waste of time having it there. Right, what I'm going to do is load up Aquanaut. And... Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to... Uh, Wait a minute, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to go into settings, although I think I think when you go into settings it forgets. Uh, full screen, well, what we want to do is turn off the... How do we... I want to turn off the borders, if I can do that. I think there's an option to turn off borders, is there? Video settings, full screen... Keep aspect ratio, um, options, video cache, I'm sure there is a, an option somewhere, is it just, no, where is it, video settings, I've just looked in video settings, options, what mode, full screen, uh, uh, I can't see that, snapshot, not none of these, let's go back into the video settings again. I don't know whether it'll actually remember them right enough because I notice when you set up your uh, when you set up the joystick in what's it called one vice it always forgets. Right, I can't see how to. I'm positive there's an option. Can anybody remember F man is a retard? Yeah, very good. How you doing, Derek? Nice to see you, mate. Um, what was I talking about? See, Derek has just completely flung my train of thought. Yeah, anyway, let, let's not bother with uh, borders. And let's... Yeah, why can't I... Ah, it's because I've locked it. So what I need to do now... Big up, says that I'm just to the bishop. Right, that'll do just now, I think. Right, okay, the settings going up. Joystick. Yeah, I wish they would come up with a, a version of this where you can actually save it so you don't have to piss about all the time. Right, where are we? Yeah, man, what's happened? What's happened? So I can just narrow down, right? Anyway, let's get going. So this is Aquanaut by Ian Gray, who virtually wrote everything. And up she rises. Right, let's go. Air lie in by morning. What would you do with a drunken sailor? You'd probably uh, take him to a disciplinary and then sack him. Right, why is it not starting? Is it spacebar? Possibly swap joysticks. See, they probably didn't adhere to the protocol of always having joysticks in port two. Yeah, it's still not working. There lie in thy morning. Joystick settings. Ah, what's going on here? Options. Swap joysticks. Why is it? Start this. Surely you don't have to press an F key. <laughs> That's a good start. Returned. Right. None of the buttons in the joystick are working. I'll try again. If anybody knows how to start Aquanaut. too much time on one particular game. I kind of get it going. Right, I think we're going to have to move on from Aquanaut because I can't physically get the game to start. Oh, wait a minute, what's that there? Hang on, hang on, I pressed a button but I don't know, I just ran my hands across the keyboards. 
Right, we're in business. Whoa, 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 don't crash now. Right now, oddly. Ah, oh, there we go, right. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. I see what I've done here, I've tried to copy Fort Apocalypse. Which is a you cheeky sod. Was that a radar at the top or is that uh How you doing Stu Roro? Uh, or is that a Starfield? Is it the sky? I don't know. Piss off. Whoa! <laughs> This was back in the day when people flaunted their, their names uh, in game titles. Right, it's kinda... Wait a minute. Right, the... Uh, I can only move to there and it stops. See that? Ah, uh, stop. Right, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Right, listen, this is absolutely pish. That is Aquanaut. Aqua shite more like. <sighs> right, Bandana City. Obviously named after uh, Dave Perry from Games Master. 1984. Yeah, um, Arcade Club in February. I'm not. Um, I am actually. I was talking to uh, Lone Boys post 1975, Dave, um, him and I are going to try and get a wee road trip down there at some point. Um, one of my mates, Mike, I think he's going down next day. Ah, Mr. Mad Commodore, how you doing, mate? You know, I was wondering what happened to you. Glad to see you're back again. Why Why the name change? But, uh, yeah, I was going to... Uh, Dave and I are hoping to get down there at some point. I'm just trying to organise it. Right, anyway, band, I've... I've played the sum total of two games and we're half an hour into this. I need to stop talking so much shit. Right, what I'm going to do is go like that. I am going to go... Like that. Get rid of that. And then what we'll do is... Oh dearie me, get yourself as a sheriff of Bandana City through its day of perilous duty, start with Hamburger Hall, no thank you, to exit docks space, you're a liar, I'm pressing space, to exit docks space to exit picture, or a X to exit docks, looks, looks like somebody's put a cork in his mouth, right anyway, Let's move that up there. Yeah, we'll get the game going and then we'll uh, we'll worry about resizing the screen. Right, okay. Bandana City. No, we don't want a trainer, thank you very much, which means we could technically be playing it forever. High score. Saver. Oh, come on. Yes, no, whatever. Right, here we go. Copyright Interceptor Micros, written by... Ant was it Tony Barton? Right, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be joystick port 2, like so. <laughs> yeah, that's realistic. He's walking through the desert avoiding hamburgers. Right, wait a minute, I'm going to just... This is annoying me a wee bit. That can get made a wee bit bigger, said the actress to the bishop, like so. Right, I think that is about the best we're going to get, said the actress to the bishop. Right, let's get going again. Can I fire at all? No, I can't. I can't. I can move up and down. Right, you apparently explode when you hit a cactus. That's real. Go. You've obviously put a lot of effort into the sound effect when you collect money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, bollocks. Did 
didn't mean to do that. Doomed to boot hell. Thanks, lads. Daughter's heart by taming the sitting bull bikers and collecting the whatever, right. Come on, how do we start again? Have I got have I got a high score? Oh, I apparently do. In fact, you can spell my name. Mame. There we go. We've got a high score of 20 points. Hamburger Hall. Right, very good. Bing. Whoa, ah, arse. Did I not see I was only going to play one game of everything? Right, let's run like hell. Ooh. Can I get through there? <laughs> Arse. Right, I think we'll make this the last game. Stay there. Don't turn that heater down on me, sweating like a 1970s DJ waiting on a knock at the door. Right. right, that is pish. Two pish, zero good. Right, let's see what's next. Now, I think, Mark, you mentioned this Big Ben. I'm sure I saw an adult film called that, but anyway, we'll move on swiftly. Um, Big Ben. Doesn't look like it shares anything in common with the, the large clock that is down in London. Um, right, joystick settings is going to be controller Xbox 360. What do you say, Mark? Big Ben 1984, it's from them. Yeah. Right, I'll just need to make myself a wee bit weird. You get down there. I don't even see the point of having me on that, to be honest with you. I don't really. I suppose I have nothing else to stop somebody trying to plagiarise my videos, although technically they could just cut me out quite easily. Big Ben was, I'm guessing that means, I don't know, CT by Manix. Manix? 1996, Unlimited Lives, no. Right, what's happening, there we go. Mr L and, what? Mr. L and DR Bacterus. Bacterius. Is this the crack screen? Big Ben options. We don't want to read instructions. Let's just leap straight into the game. Sorry, Mark, what are you saying? Uh, it's good that you're on there. It personalises it. Ugh. J for joystick. Sound, no sound, I guess we better go for some sound, I think. I've got to say, I like the presentation, I like the uh, the font. Press any key. Jump. Do you know what that reminds me of? That sprite jumping reminds me of Fix It Felix. Fi sorry, Fix It Felix. Out of uh, Wreck It Ralph. I can fix it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's, it's like you're in the room with me. Right, I'm guessing I'm going to die when I hit that green thing. Ah, right, he's got quite a nice leaping action. Is that an escalator that's going up? Hard to die. <laughs> Famous last words. Stellar Space Agency. Ah, so it's got squashed. Right, let's. So, what am I trying to collect here? I'm trying to collect. Is that, is it one, is that one pence or something? I think it is. Go 
go in that one. 8 bit bollocks. 8 bits the rule. Well, maybe not quite, but yeah, I love the 8 bit machines. If it wasn't for the Commodore 64, I wouldn't be still playing games at the ripe old age of 51 years old. So I'm just looking at your comments. Uh, right now, cut off. I renamed my channel, that's all. No, why, why did you change your name? That's, that's a shame, because I, I, did, I did wonder where you'd actually gone to. <laughs> I, I, did, uh, I did see, I'm not going to talk politics uh, on the channel, but yeah, I did see that. I like salmon, really, really. Something fishy about that, I'm not quite sure. Somebody pointed out, Alec Salmon and Nicholas Sturgeon, both fish. I don't know how I managed to get a high score because I didn't, well I didn't, I think I picked up one coin. Right, wait, I'm just going to put in any shite because we won't crack on. Uh, and right, I'll have one more go with this and I'll stop talking. There. What the hell is that? Is that any mushroom hanging from the ceiling or something? I don't know what it is. Fuck it off. Get that. Oh. Ah, so you actually die when you hit the side of the platform. Ah! Why did nobody tell me? It's going to make it a whole lot easier. Does anybody know, I'm just, it said there are uh, three men left, does anybody know why in video games, lives became known as men? Even in Space Invaders you would say, oh I've got two men left. First, why not, why don't you say two spaceships or something? Wait a minute, why can't I pick that up? No, we'll land. No, when you try and land, you die. Right, anyway, listen, that's quite a good little game, but it's going to take a bit of getting used to, I think. Um, right, did somebody mention another game? Dear Devil Dennis, oh, I think I've played that once before. Listen, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick with, I'm going to stick with these Interceptor games just now because it means... But nah, listen, fuck it, let's, let's give Dear Devil Dennis a go. Um, I'm sure I've played that before. Gorf, all these are set to Gorf because I did do a, I did do a, yeah, Ghosts and Goblins, I did do a, an arcade perfect my arse on Gorf, I think I put it out yesterday, was it? Dear, there we go, Dear Devil Dennis. Right, wait a minute. Let me get this so it can see. I'm just to go like that. There we go. Boom! Right. A wee bit weird. Who's that? Is that big enough? <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll stop the jokes. Right. Written by Simon Pick. I'm sure he's he done a few games on the C64. Right, space, alright, but it's just loading at the moment. Still got 19 people watching. That's wonderful. Right, I'm guessing there's not going to be any uh, joystick. I'll give it a go. So let's see. Space bar is jump, shift, accelerate. Is that it? There's no left and right then. Space bar, jump, shift, accelerate, and return is stop. So shift, return, space bar. Right, let's give it a go. Right, we're going to go for A for novice, obviously. Itchy beard. To start game, press it. I am pressing A. Oh, wait a wee minute, do I need to click in? No, I am clicked in the, the screen. A. Come on. Why is it saying, why is it not picking up? What's going on? It's like, it's not actually in the window. Hang on a wee second, control end. Right, I'm in the window, I'm going to... 
Come on. A. Right, it doesn't want to start. Oh, hang on. What the hell have I done? Take one, right, what was the controls? Shift, space and return. Right, so space bar. Right. <laughs> I'm in it, right, what am I doing here? Ah, right, you're taking part in a film or something, I think. Right, wait a minute. Arse. So you explode when you hit somebody, that's lifelike. Come on, come on, come on, keep it going. <laughs> I never did see I could actually, you're fired, quite literally well fired, more like A. Like, I don't know what's going on here, it's not letting me pick. It's not letting me pick what level. I think I'm going to have to put this one down to a failure, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of get that one working. Right, let's get back to Interceptor Games. So, control N to release the mouse. Right. Um, we're almost an hour in. 45 minutes in and I've played, like, two games. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. Right, let's get back to... Let's get back to business. Sorry, Russ. Um, I'll maybe give that another go. I'm sure I did play that in a, a, a ten-minute mashup. <laughs> Just looking at the comments, Sturgeon, not cranky. Um, yeah, well, sorry. I'm I'm shite at games. I'm alright at games that I play a lot, but I'm not very good when it comes to. Uh, I wonder if you could play it with joystick. Let me give it one last go, but I'll try the joystick. If it doesn't work. Oh, hang on a second, we're getting music when I press the fire button. Oh no, that's just because. Right, it doesn't look like... See, look, I press spacebar and it worked. But then when you press the keys, it doesn't work. So, nah, I don't know what's going on there. It is recognising the joystick, uh, the keyboard, but it's no. no idea what's going on with that. Sorry. Eh, uh, right, control end. Let's come out of that. Yeah. Um, right, where are we? Let's get back into C64 game base. Thanks for everyone that's uh, joined me tonight. Uh, C64. Trolley Wally is a Stonewall classic. I love that game. Right, Big Top Barney. Is that, is that when it kicks off at a circus, a Big Top Barney? Uh, right, play game. And let's go for joystick settings. That, okay. And then we need to jump in. And we need to go like that. And then we go like that. Like so. And then we'll move him across a wee bit. I'm not going to bother fanning about with the, with the thing we... Just turn it up a tiny wee bit so I can hear it. I notice if I have the volume turned up too loud in this. Now this, just from the title screen, looks like Mr. Boo, or is it, what's the name of that game? Circus Charlie. I like the music. I'm sure that's written by Graham Hansford, who did the music for Trolley Wally. I got that right, I am extremely sad. Right, F1 to start a game. I'm guessing this is going to be Circus Charlie. Oh, hang on two seconds. Somebody's trying to phone me. Oh, well, I'll phone in a wee minute. The only thing is, having the Queen in the background there is going to mean I can't monopolise, I can't monetize this video. Just to see if YouTube picks up in that. Ah, balls. If my phone goes again, it's my daughter trying to get me. If my phone goes again, then I'll need to go to the table. Oh, I'm afraid. Is that a 
dinosaur? It looks like one of these little mini barnies. I'm going to say this isn't a bad game for an interceptor game. I mean, it's, it's not bad, it's quite arcadey. Right, we've got one Barney's left, apparently. End of performance, no, that's a game over. That's not bad, not bad at all. Wait, let's, what's next? Ah, oh, dearie me, look at that, that looks awful. Right, let's give it a go, we've got to play everything. Now, this game has got music by Graham Hansford, the guy that I just told you about. So see if it kind of has a similar organy feel to it. This, what is this game? This is Break Fever, which looks diabolical. I can't think of anything worse than a breakdancing game. Even the one by, uh, well, it wasn't US Gold, I can't remember who it was. It was bloody awful. Hi, as I says, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, just a, an impromptu impromptu live stream there, good fun. Designed and written by H. Mothada. Really? And D. Riley. Hard Den. Press fire to continue. Hard Mothada. I'm guessing that's some kind of pseudonym or something. I don't know. Do we really care? No we don't. Break fever. It just looks shit. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> always find... Oh, you know what? I was going to say, I always find it quite strange why people would want to watch somebody playing games not very well. Playing old games not very well. But you know what? I'm I'm exactly the same. I like watching live streams. I always enjoy watching, you know, all my mates' channels. You know, it's... If you enjoy making videos like this, then generally you enjoy uh, watching them like this as well. I just don't get a chance to really watch as many as I do. Right, anyway, let's, enough of my warbling, break fever! You just know this is going to be utter, 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 utter shit. Yeah! <laughs> right, it's not working with space bar, so let's swap, swap the joysticks. And it's still not working! Damn it! Um, let's swap it back. And what we'll do is we'll... Right, I've definitely put that in right. I don't know why this isn't working. We'll try F1. Ah, right, okay. F1 apparently changes their top. There we go, I'll go for the guy. The guy on the left looks like he's not got any arms and the guy on the right looks like a big, happy, smiley face on legs. Is F3 going to... Let's just start the bloody game. Turtle? What? What the hell happened there? You is bad news. I don't even know what I'm... Am I controlling that? It absolutely beats the shit out of me, guys, I'm afraid. Never mind dancing on ice. This is where that, this is where that happened. <laughs> Donkey kick. Bombay Rockers. Yeah, you know what? You can just piss right off whatever you're called. That is utter, utter shit, even if I could play it. 
Uh, Crazy Kong. I can't wait to play Crazy Kong. That was my first ever C64 game ever. And it's an absolute stonewall classic. If you watch my uh, End of Market Perfect My Arses, you'll see the game uh, in the sort of intro. Dancing on arse, dancing on fish, more like, right, like burger time. Elbow. <clears throat> Great FIFA game. Yeah, right. Let's get another one up, said the actress to the bishop. Right, um, who needs Dominic Diamond when you've got me? Right. I did actually, and this is not joking, I actually contacted Dominic Diamond again about two weeks ago asking if he would uh, care to to do another uh, a follow up to my my original uh, interview but he's not got back to me yet one person I'm hoping to have now don't count your chickens um, he did get back to me and said yeah yeah that would be cool as Gary Penn from uh, X Zap Reviewer I contacted Gary a couple of days a couple of weeks ago and he did say that we'd be up for it but I'm just trying to I'm waiting for him to tell me when he can do it because it's been a long long time since I've done a blimey it's only if you don't know what blame me, it's only it's a, a feature I've got where I, I wouldn't say famous people, but I, I talk to and interview people who've kind of been involved in the, the, the gaming industry. Um, I mean, some of my favourites I had. One of my favourite ones was, what do you call him, Sean Southern, who did, uh, he wrote Lotus Turbo Challenge amongst like Kickstarter games like that. Um, but yeah, Gary, he's, he's a good lad. Um, it would be great to get him on. I've been trying to get Jeff Minter for ages, but Jeff is getting more and more popular. I mean, he's obviously been in that uh, Bandersnatch, and he's, there's a, a documentary coming out about him as well. So trying to get Jeff is like, you've got more chance of, I don't know, meeting Lord Lucan. I've got more chance of getting Lord Lucan on a live stream than I have of getting Jeff Minter on, on one of the blimey it's always. Anyway, right, enough of my warblings. Rob Hubbard. You know, I don't even know how I would go about getting him. Um, I'd love to talk to him. One guy that I would love to talk to even more than him is uh, Martin Galway. And he never replied. And I'd also love to speak to Tony Crowder, but Tony has read my messages and not replied. And at the end of the day, I don't chase anybody. If somebody reads my message and, to my mind, doesn't have the decency to even say sorry, then I'm not real interested, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Um, I also tried to get Stuart Ashens on as well and he, I sent him an email and he never got back to me and I was a bit a wee bit annoyed at that to be honest with you, you know? I mean I always think at the end of the day all these guys started the same as me they started with nothing um, so I was a wee bit disappointed that Ashens never had the decency to even reply to my email you know a simple sorry Alan too busy whatever right anyway enough of me throwing my toys at the pram let's get this bad boy up and running Right, okay, what are we playing here? Burger Time, this is Burger Time by Interceptor Software again. Peter Pepper, Chef Peter Pepper marches over buns, burger patties, lettuce. Just imagine, you, if this, if Burger Time came out now, then, uh, if Burger Time came out now, then it would be sponsored by Spongebob Squarepants. Sorry, uh, Russ, are you talking about you would like to see me interview Kevin Toms. Is that what you're, you're asking me? If you can let me know. Are you off the floating head, floating beard? Uh, right, okay, right. I think we know how to play this game. Come on. What was it? Is it exit? There we go. Info link. Uh, yeah, I've got no idea. Right, I'm going to assume... Do you want unlimited lives? No, thank you. Well, actually, if you go into my feature in the channel, you will find I have indeed already interviewed Kevin Toms. I interviewed him was it last year, year before. Go into the playlists on my channel, go to Blimey It's Only, and you'll see Kevin Toms in there. He was he was brilliant. <laughs> he was actually really, really good. Um, right, come on, I don't want any more lives. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's quite a long interview, actually. Right, here we go. 
I was actually playing. I did a live stream. Uh, I did a live stream playing my meme cab. I'm absolutely keen in the meme cab at the moment. I love it. I really, really enjoy the meme cab. Uh, come on, you should fall with your death, you sod. Bugger off. What was I talking about? Yeah, I played uh, Burger Time and I actually got to the third level, which I think is a first. Uh, I'm trying to think where Kevin lives now. I'm trying to think. Yeah, he lives abroad. It might be New Zealand. I think you're right, actually. It's quite bizarre actually talking to him because um, obviously you always think of him having a beard. And he doesn't. Yeah, meme cab's absolutely awesome. I mean, my mate Mike Hansen sent me the joysticks, uh, and my, my mate Neil, who you all know, Neil appears in some of my uh, Blame It's Only. Um, not Blame It's Only. Uh, what do you call it? Live waffles, whatever. Me and my son Chubbs talk fish. Neil very, very kindly fitted um, the keys and joysticks, and only, was it Monday, I think it was, or was it Sunday? I can't remember. We fitted a new trackball as well, so it's awesome. I've actually got, a, I'm going to be recording a video um, probably next week or maybe the weekend, and it's going to be Is This the Ultimate Gaming Handheld? Now, it's not actually a gaming handheld, it's a, a tablet with one of these, uh, what do you call it, joystick things you can slot the tablet into, but honestly, uh, it arrived yesterday and playing, uh, playing like, you know, these games on a huge big screen with like a joystick kind of attached to it. It literally is like the best handheld ever. It's awesome. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to be putting out a video with that. Okay, excellent. So you managed to cobble together an iCade thing. Yeah, I've got. Can you see it behind you? In fact, no, you can't. If you look, just. Behind, you might just be able to see it no more. In fact, my head's out the road. No, you can't see it. My, uh, my little uh, retro pie thing is behind the uh, the Vectrex. I mean, it's got it's held together with gaffer tape and insulating tape. But you know what? I built it, and I'm stupidly proud of it. It's, it plays really, really well. I'm going to go one more game at this. Thank you to all the people that have just joined me up to 23, which is nice. At least it's almost a weekend. <laughs> I actually, when I was working yesterday, um, what was I? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was talking to one of my uh, customers about I had somebody come to the site and I said they were going to go around the front and I said, look, you might want to tell her to. <laughs> what was it? To come in the back passage. <laughs> and, then I, and then I said said the actress to the bishop and I thought, that's probably the wrong thing to say to your customer, but they, they just laughed. <laughs> Who needs an alarm clock when you've got Miles Star? He's, he keeps us up to track. We've got one hour reached. Excellent. Yeah, I was going to say it's actually just over an hour, but I think... Uh, right, anyway, enough of that. I'm not very good at that. Um what was I talking about? I should really turn this heating down. <laughs> yeah, I just thought, oops, have I overstepped the mark, mate? Caverns of Ciliac. Uh, play game. Carry on, main meister. I would, you know, I would love to have been in a, uh, I would have obviously been Sid James. Um, I'd love to have been in a, a carry on movie. I think they were brilliant. I'm going to have a wee drink of coffee. Stone cold coffee. Oh, I must have upset four people. It's down to 18 again. <laughs> right. Sorry, one hour we should take a leaf out of Ken Dodd's book and aim for eight hours straight. So I'm not quite with you. What's, what's that all about? I'm not, I'm not sure the relevance of that. <laughs> Right, where are we? 
Right, so it is. I thought this was actually going to be an adventure. Uh, settings, joystick settings. Uh, let's go for controller Xbox. Okay. I got a, an email. Um, what do you call it? Play Glasgow, whatever it's called. The play events. It's in June. I'll be going along again. I don't know if anybody else is going to go. I may go to Blackpool. Um, Oh really? Ah, I was I wasn't aware of that actually. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll go to Blackpool this year. I always say I won't, and I always do. But yeah, I'll definitely be going to the Play Blackpool event, so the Play Glasgow event. Um, it's not very good, but you know what? It's, it's kind of on my doorstep compared to like going to Blackpool. But if anybody else is going to get along um, and you see me, please come up and say hello. It's always it's always great. I was actually a bit annoyed when I was there last year. They had uh, the panel of uh, Kim Justice, who is a she's an excellent YouTuber. I mean, there's no getting away from it. And uh, Slopes Games Room. Um, now you know both nice people. I was I was chatting to them, but it was just the two of them, and it's the same people all the time that have these things. It's always the same people, and what annoyed me was there was hardly anybody there. And it was, what's the name of the guy? The Retro Hour. It's not Dan Wood, it's the other guy. I can't remember what his name is. Um, and he said that they tried to get some Scottish YouTubers to take part, but they couldn't get any. And I'm sitting like five feet away thinking, hello? Now, I know I'm not a big YouTuber, not at all. I mean, I'm, not, I'm only five foot seven, but um, it's irrelevant. I always think that you don't have to be you don't have to be mega successful to be entertaining, you know what I mean? So, they obviously didn't look very hard. I mean, there's myself, there's Monkey Spaz, there's there's Dave, you know, there's there's lots of people. How you doing, Andy? Or should I say Jamie? I keep meaning to bar you, I, I keep forgetting, actually. Yeah, it's alright, we're probably going to go on for about another hour. We're, what we're doing is we're working our way through the back catalogue of uh, Interceptor software. Like, come on, let's get going. Just talk all the time. Talk, talk, talk. All you do is talk, talk. Right. Um, right, did we set up the joystick? I can't even remember. I have. Right, do we want infinite lives? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's uh, using the uh, Sam speech synthesizer. Uh, spe speech synthesizer. Right. What we're we trying to do here, like you can basically for you can you can shoot up, you can shoot down, and you can shoot from side to side. So the access to the bishop. Yeah, I love. I remember having oodles and oodles of fun with uh, Sam's speech synthesis. I can't even say the word. I remember me and a mate where uh, there was a Monopoly game. It was written in basic, and uh, we we added uh, speech into that. It was quite amusing. It never gets dull saying like "f off" and what have you. I don't know what's going on with the white noise sound effects. <laughs> I am. Whoops! I'm assuming we picked them up. What? Oh man, I picked one up and then I exploded. I think you're right, Ox. I mean, yeah, I, I'm. I know it. I know it sounds just like jealousy. Um, but I know a lot of other the smaller YouTubers all feel the same. Um, you know, I'm not blaming the big YouTubers, but you know the. I would rather uh, have different people on, but it's the same brigade over and over and over and over again. Right. Pass over the yellow trees. Now I'm, if this, this kind of reminds me a bit like Fort Apocalypse. That's exactly what this is trying to be by the way. Oh, 
love the sound effects though, I'll give it that. Yeah, it's just one of these things, Andy. I'm happy with my uh, my little group of people. Bollocks. I'm going to turn this heater off. I'm sweating like Alex Salmon waiting in the police to knock at the door. Right. Oh, we've still got one. How many ships have we got? Ships left. Like we've got one left. Yeah, this is all for fun. They just stop enjoying this. As if they would just pack it in, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I think if it became about money, then, then that's when things get too serious. And to me, nah, not interested. Right, enough of that. Uh, that's it's all right. Right, we need a big cheer. It's China Miner. Hooray! I actually really like this game. <laughs> oh, if you tuned in earlier on, Andy, we're having a bit of... Well, somebody said uh, that he was outed by the crankies. <laughs> <laughs> the crankies, there's something weird going on there. But you know what? They've got a they've, they've got a quite a successful uh, quite a successful uh, you know business going on there. They get they get all the uh, all the pantomimes every year with my uh, namesake Alan Stewart. Yeah. Right, okay, right, let's go. Now, I'm quietly confident that I should now breeze past the first level. Yeah, the crankies are indeed still alive. Um, one of my friends actually took her son to see them. And apparently they're actually really good. I remember as a kid seeing the crankies on, like, what would it be, like, the Royal Variety Performance. And, uh, you know what? As a kid, I didn't realise it was a woman. I just knew there was something a bit strange about the, the wee boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, she's about 70 and she plays a schoolboy. Um, but as a kid, they're really, really hilarious and that's why they're successful. And you know what? Fair dues to them. I mean, she almost got killed. I think she was in Jack and the Beanstalk. And she... <laughs> Midget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just looking at the comments. Um, yeah, there, uh, she almost got. She was halfway up a up a beanstalk and collapsed, and uh, she almost got killed with the beanstalk. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys kill me, right? Let's get going. Now, I need to remember to walk left. This game, when you start immediately loft, uh, walk left. If you don't, it's curtains. Last Ninja soundtrack. Sounds awesome. Yeah, amazing. I, I was never a fan of the games, but I did like the music. Right, we don't want a high score, so it's got to be H. <laughs> it's roasting in here. Right, let's get going. Is it space far? Look at that. Silky skills or what? The notes are going a wee bit quiet. Because I need to, uh, yeah, I need to concentrate. Arse. I blame the controller. Yeah, using... Oh, bollocks. Using uh, a thumbstick. I brought one of these uh, USB to Atari joystick things. But I've got it downstairs. I've got my, uh, my C64 mini. Get up, get up. You've got to be really, really precise with the ladders, unfortunately. I think, did we get to the third level once? still fiendishly difficult and I challenge anybody to have never played this game before that they would not get off the first level. It's 
it's a game that you've got to play to understand how it works. Quite a few, I would say. Get up the ladder, there we go. Did anybody watch my uh, live arcade thing that I done uh, a couple of days ago? It was interesting, there was a bunker I was playing Rolling Thunder. And at the end of the, the first level, there's bands that walk about. But oddly, they, they appear to move in front of the character, which was really, really weird. And it, it meant that they couldn't actually touch me. It's always like the sprites were in two different playing fields, which was weird. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect night watching a crusty old block play an old game, eating a big box of family circle biscuits. I didn't even know they still made them. Right, anyway, I've achieved what I've set out to do, and that's getting off level one. Uh... Oh. Come on. Oh man, what's going on here? Right, it doesn't want me to pick up bollocks. Doesn't want me to pick up that key allegedly. about when you're on the new platform. Yeah, nice. Probably six months ago, I'd have been on about my 15 million game of this, but it is a brutal game. But I love it. I love the challenge of it. Come on, move, move, move. Whoa, 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 whoa! Arse. Game over. Right, anyway, that's China Miner. Let's just put my name in for posterity. There we go. Mam. Ah, I don't know, I think it's the same version. This is the one I've been looking forward to. This is my first... Uh... Is that... Uh... What are you heading off, Mild Star? Cheers, buddy. Thanks for joining in, mate. Yeah, this this game... Sorry, I'm, I'm talking about a game and you can't even see it because I've not actually loaded it yet. This is Crazy Kong. Um, this was the very first game that I ever, ever bought from a Commodore 64. And... You've just got to try and imagine how gutted I was when 17 years old and I load up this on my spanking new Commodore 64 and you're like, wow. But it's a classic. Alright, cheers Melstar, thanks for joining in buddy. Now somebody else is going to have to keep the time now that he's gone. Where are we? 1 hour and 18. Probably go till 10 o'clock. Think. Um, <laughs> I just, it just reeks pishness. Right, and it's got the most, uh, it's got the most random hammer time. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, you pick up the hammer, and it'll either last thirty seconds, said the actress to the bishop, or it'll last. 
two minutes and it's completely it's completely random as to whether it sort of when it disappears so let's go <laughs> I love this game it's so bad I mean, what the hell is it it looks like I don't even know what you are you've got these two little legs um, I'm actually doing really well jumping over these things yeah, it looks like, I don't know what you are, it looks like a little spaceship in legs. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh, you arse. I was too busy looking at the bloody power thing. A flea. <laughs> it does look like that, it does look like a flea. Right, come on, you just get over there. The movement is like here's here's the hammer. This is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but what I love about this one is you can you can jump and collect tablet or not tablets, collect the little power pills and go up ladders. But then it'll just randomly disappear. Dogs is just let off. Jesus. I mean, that was. I picked up a ladder about 10 seconds before. Oh, what am I doing? Arse. Yeah, this is just fantastically bad, and it's it's so bad that I actually like playing the game. It's just brilliant. See how long this ladder lasts, not ladder, hammer lasts, get out the ladder. So I'm going to pick up a brand new ladder now, so you, in effect you would imagine. <laughs> you actually explode, I'm assuming there must be a... Uh, Petrol or something inside that. That is so unfair. Ugh. Oh, bugger. And listen to that sound effect. Yeah, will make your ears bleed. I'm going to have one more go. Uh, yeah, it does actually sound like a machine gun. Right, one more go. Yeah, I mean the thing is, the first, the first la uh, hammer lasts for quite a while, and then it seems that every subsequent hammer. Oh, don't die. Oh, lasts even less. What I need to do is be more vigilant once I get up to the top here. Right, so what I need to do here is stand there. Ah, ah, I wonder if it's because your ladder, your hammer disappears the minute you, you get up to the top. Right, here we go. Come on! I missed something. Why is it not ending the level? All oh, right, I hadn't moved right up. There we go. <laughs> right, I've never seen that. All oh, right, okay. So this is a completely. This doesn't even. This doesn't even look like the. Uh... Hi, Shinobi. Thanks for joining me, buddy. Do you know what? I think in all the years that I've owned this game and 
been playing it. I think it's the first time. Oh, arse. That I've ever got off that first level. I guess I should really pick up all the, the low lying cherries to begin with. Oh, how can they jump across? That doesn't seem fair to me. Right, come on. No! I think we have actually, Andy. You saw it here first. Oh, bollocks, I need to, wait a minute, I need to jump there and then I need to go back over there. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Inferno ladder again. Not ladder, hammer again. Come on. Jump! No, get off the ladder, you stupid idiot. <laughs> How many lives, right? We've got two lives left. Serious, I'm not talking anymore. Right, let's pick up this. Run. I need to jump over there and pick up that thing, like so. I may as well get the hammer. I'm assuming I can hammer these things. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine, right over here. Up the ladder. Anyway, I got a high score in your face, uh, Interceptor. Right, that is crazy, Kong. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Right, Chris, what's this? Crystals of Karas. Right, this is a uh, this is a text adventure. I'm not even going to bother looking at that. Yeah, that was I had the, the Andorog one was the game that made me think, wow. Uh, in fact, you know what, just for a... Nah, I'm not going to bother looking at it just now. What we'll probably do is we'll do another one of these live streams, but we'll do a... Uh, what do you call it? Anarog software. Right, next up, and this isn't a bad version, if I remember rightly. This is Cuddly Cubert, which is Interceptor's take on a... Uh, what's he called? Cubert. Has anybody seen the new uh, Wreck-It Ralph? I wasn't overly impressed. It was alright. I mean, I loved the first Wreck It Ralph. I think I liked it because it had all a lot of the, you know, the, it had all the little uh, characters that we all know and love. But the second one didn't have quite so many. I love sparkling water. I'm not a fan of uh, juice, but I like the fact I don't like plain water. But the fact that it's water, but it tastes like it's the consistency of juice with the sparkle. Love this stuff. Right, anyway, let's batter on. I was going to have a drink of tea, but I've finished it. Don't you hate that when you think you've still got a last sip of tea and you go to drink it, or you, you've got a chocolate biscuit or you know chocolate, and then you go to get that last piece, only to discover that there's a... Uh, you've actually finished it. Cuddly Cubert is a furry little creature. Right? F for forward. Forward, forward, forward. Continue. Do you want infinite lives? Nope. Do you want infinite bonus? Nope. Why would you want... Why would you have infinite bonus? What is... Yeah, it probably is actually, Ross. Right, come on. Now, I know I'm going to suck ass at this because I'm using the 360 controller and the analog controller for this game just isn't, isn't really what you would want to use. I can't actually hear the sound. I'm going to turn the sound up a wee bit. Come on, move. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I always thought, I mean, I, I wasn't a fan of this particular type of game. The only one I like this kind of game was it Slinky. I can't remember what the name of the, what was the name of the company that brought out Slinky? Was it Areola Soft? I can't remember. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm too busy thinking out loud here. Um, yeah, I, I just found it. Doesn't want to move. Really, really difficult. Yeah, we'll go for one more go with this. Since it doesn't, since I don't last very long, so the bishop to the actress, right? Andy, just when you're on, um, do you notice that our, our friend Bombjack has returned? He's been commenting on a few videos. He just said that he, he took time out from uh, from YouTube now. Bombjack was one of the guys, probably one of the first kind of subscribers to the channel, and uh, him and Andy used to have a bit of kind of banter, friendly banter. We'll call it that and then he just disappeared one day but he's back again which is good that's what I like about this YouTube thing you get to know names and people and you know it's good fun I'm struggling big time with trying to use this uh, controller Arse. Down, down, down. Yeah, it kind of sticks. It just doesn't want to move. Don't you kill me now. How you doing, Alison? You all right? Getting peace and quiet from uh, Russ watching this shite. <laughs> and this is more entertaining than your strictly dancing on ice bollocks. Come on. What's interesting, uh, you've got the, the statistics on uh, on my YouTube channel, I think. Something like 99.96 of my viewers are male. And uh, yeah, what would that be? 0.04% are female. Yeah, I wonder why. Right, anyway, enough about Alison. Let's move on. Um, now, perhaps Alison might want to consider becoming a subscriber, which would take me up to 2,300. That would be very, very kind of you, Alison. Um, right, let's move on for that. That is Cuddly Cubert. Right, next one. This is Defender. Now, we didn't even make any effort to change the name. This was back when you could plagiarise any game you wanted and you got away with it. Can you imagine doing that? Now, can you imagine bringing out a game called Mario 64 or something? <laughs> uh, I could... Yeah, I, well, nah, I'm, I'm not going to bother. The dogs are actually lying beside me. Um, but I'm not going to bother moving my head cam. They are indeed. What can I say, dog? I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll crack the jokes. Right, enough. Defender 64. Uh, infinite lives. Nope, nope, nope. Right. Hey, hey! Dancer, how you doing, Adam? I'm up to 2,301. Excellent. Which basically means I've got 18 people watching it, which means 2,292 of them are people don't watch this. Always say that though, any any channel at all, even PewDiePie, you get about 20%. 20% of your uh, populace actually watch the channel. Um, yeah, you know what, Doug? You know, it's, yeah, if you, I mean, my, my daughter always says to me, why don't you play Call of Duty or why don't you play this and I'm like, because I'm not interested, couldn't give two shits, I'd much rather play games that I want to play. Right, wait a minute, let's get the joystick set up in this. Um, okay. Now, anybody that knows of Defender knows that you should always play Defender with the proper keyboard, etc. Now, if anybody has not subscribed to Adam's channel, Amiga Old School, click on his name and go and subscribe. Adam's got a great channel, he does a lot of really good kind of is it trance dance type kind of mixes and that kind of thing, Adam? And always enjoy Adam and his mate. Uh, 
is it Steve? I think it is Adam. You you do these uh, the Amiga lads, which is a kind of offshoot of Adam's channel, and they, they, they go along to different events, and they're always really entertaining. And I always enjoy the ones where you go to the computer club. You need to get another one of these put out. No, I know they're doing plenty of pumps. Sorry, I, I'm. You know what? I'm not even. I'm too busy talking to Adam to even concentrate. Now this has got the makings of being what? Of being all right. I mean, the scrolling's smooth enough, but everything kind of stops when you turn. What the hell? Have, I've got no idea. Vectex Defender is fantastic. How you doing, Kikalian? Thanks for joining me, mate. I've got that. Yeah, it's... What's it called? Protector. It is just amazing. It's an amazing... It's probably... I'd probably say it's one of the best versions of Defender. Now, I actually, you know, I was watching a video the other day there and I realised I bought it. I bought, uh, what's it called? Vector Patrol. Which is... Uh, it's basically Moon Patrol on the Vectex. I bought that six months ago, put it on my shelf and promptly forgot about it. Um, yeah, and it's it looks really, really good, so I'll need to start. We'll pick him up for a bonus. Sweet. Piss off. Now, any, whoa, what happened there? Any defender aficionado knows that if you pick up a human and just carry him with you, it means that Holy God. It means that uh, you'll never... Right, enough of that. You'll you'll never actually lose. As long as you stay alive and you've got the human, then you'll never lose the thing. Right, this is this next one is called Emperor of Karn, which is another uh, a graphic adventure thing, so... Bloody hell, this looks... Uh, okay, I thought it was going to be worse than it was. This is called Fiona Rides Out. I'm sure I saw a film a couple of years back called that. <coughs> anyway, right. Uh, Fiona Rides Out, apparently, by Ian Gray. Music by Chris Cox. What? Run. <laughs> right, okay. Infinite Lives. No, 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 no. Oh, it's apparently decompacting. Um, right, wait a minute. I need to set up the joystick. <clears throat> <laughs> I think it might be done. That's, I'm sure it's a sequel. Fiona rides out. I have to get its full title. Fiona rides out Interceptor, 1985. That's probably when I saw it. Actually, no, no, no. There we go. A more terrified cat you will never see. Look at it. It's absolutely petrified. <laughs> Anyway, right, it's the poor man's, it's the poor man, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, it's Defender, that's what it is. I was going to say it's the poor man, what the hell? Right, you know what, I can't, ah, it's actually a shoot up, you can't turn left, you can only move up and down, or move, well you can kind of move left and right, but you can't actually scroll to left. So it's actually a shoot up. <laughs> Kakalian, I think you will be sleeping in the settee tonight, my friend. Yeah, Cauldron. Oh, what going on here? Cauldron is a lovely... Uh, Cauldron's actually a good game, but it's the difficulty is just savage. It's like... Uh, well, that's not a good game. The Evil Dead by Palace Software. It looks alright, but it's just stupidly unplayable. I'm back to this again. I've certainly played a lot worse. This isn't actually half bad. Apart from a complete lack of anything, anything to actually shoot.
obviously the music wasn't done by Rob Hubbard or Martin Galway or Jerome Tell or whatever. Right, what's going to happen now? Is that game over? Poem from Ruddy Gore by W.S. Gilbert. When the night wind howls and the chimney cowls and the bat in the moonlight flies. What the hell is going on here? Blame me, you get three games for the price of one. What the hell? That's a large headed. That is Ant McPartland. You can tell by the large forehead. That's his skeleton, obviously. This is a bizarre game, this. Oh, I can fly and shoot as well. This reminds me of chilling a wee bit with a big tree. Right, so you can kill skeletons. I don't know what I'm actually trying to do here. It's like every time you die, you move on to a different level. Strange. Right, guys. Come on, I'm back to this level again. <laughs> and I'm back to this one. I've got absolutely no idea what the idea of this game is. Cause I'm, no, it's like any, you're stuck in the same screen. Right, I'm getting bored now. Right, let's move on. That is Fiona rides out. Right, the next one. This was I bought. The Donkey Kong, not Donkey Kong, Crazy Kong, and I also bought this game. Fortunately, because it's it, uh, after playing Crazy Kong, I was all ready to send my Commodore 64 back to Roku and get my money back. But then I loaded up this game and actually realised that it is actually not Pish. This is Frogger, or Frogger 64, like a lot of the games like to call themselves. Right, okay, converted, blah, 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 blah. Um, inf sorry, infinite lives. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's quite, I mean, it's, it's, it's actually a good, I did do a, a video when I compared different version of Frogger on the C64, and this actually isn't a bad version. I need to set up the joystick, just bear with me for two seconds. No, oh, no, how come not? Any key to start. Yeah, it's fairly basic, but, you know, it's nice and simple. You can tell exactly what you need to do. And yeah, the scrolling is not... isn't what you would term as perfect. But as far as uh, Frogger clones go, it's not bad at all. Though somebody did bring out it is an arcade perfect version of Frogger. It's really, really good. I'm sure I did do a video with them both running side by side. And it is, it's arcade perfect. Even down to the sort of title screen and that kind of stuff. Yeah, if there's... What Adam doesn't know about the Amiga isn't worth knowing. I mean, he's got a phenomenal um, knowledge of the Amiga. What was really interesting, Adam, a fact that Adam told me, um, was that the Amiga was, I think, am I right in saying this, Adam? I think the Amiga was your computer. You did not have a PC up until about 2000 or something. Something like that. Which I found quite mental, but you know what? That's, oh, no, 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 don't, don't die, don't die. Oof. We'll just hopefully complete this level. Ah, bollocks, I'm too busy reading the I'm too busy looking at the comments there to actually Right, let's concentrate again. <laughs> Bingo! Right, enough of that. Bingo! What game is that in? Smash TV. Uh, right, Frontline. Right, this is a... According to this, it's a multi... Sorry, a shoot 'em up multi-scrolling. Let's give this a go. Right, I want to try and get through all these. I don't want to keep this stream going, you know, 
much after 10 o'clock, so we'll just stick to one game each and see how we go on. Oh, dearie me. But again, thanks for everybody that's uh, taking time to join in tonight. It's always good fun. Right, okay. Frontline, written by Lee Brain. What I like about this is it's kind of use, is that sort of, is that like high resolution graphics? Can I destroy that? It doesn't look like I can. Do you think these red things are mines? Oh, whatever it is. Can you squish, oh game over, right yeah, they're mines. Except you don't actually. I'm going to turn this sound in a wee bit. I'm getting chased with a large lump of plaster scene. Whoa, it just jumped at me. A large lump of plaster scene. Wait a minute. A large lump of plaster scene is actually the explosion when I kill something. Shoot that. Die. Okay, so I need to pick up. Basic. I could probably actually play this game back in the day when I game over. Right, anyway, that is uh, whatever it's called, Frontline. Next up, now this, well, yeah, you can you can see what's happening here. If you'd like to understand, uh, now I can't remember who it was, the guy that started up Interceptor Software, he used to, uh, him and Jeff Minter started up a software company. I think it was the guy from Interceptor plus his dad and Jeff Minter and I think Jeff eventually realised that he was getting shafted. Jeff was doing all the programming and this guy and his dad were basically getting half the money so Jeff decided to go, go out on his own. They, I think they, they split up, you know, I think there was a bit of ill feeling. Um, so Jeff set up Lamasoft and this guy and his uh, dad set up Interceptor Software and there was a bit of blood, bad blood between the two of them. Not not so much from Jeff's side, but from whatever it was. Um, and there's some of the games were basically having a dig at Jeff Minter now. Jeff has got a game called uh, Hover Bover, which is a great game. I love it. And you'll see here what this guy's trying to do. This is called Get Off My Garden. Or My Guard, as it's called here. Uh, right, let's load up. Oh, what's going on there? I don't know what that is. I was meant to phone my daughter. Nobody told me I'm going to get abused tomorrow. Why didn't you answer the phone, Dad? I had to laugh when I was doing a, a live stream a couple of years ago. My daughter was upstairs, and uh, she didn't want to come. To, she wanted to come downstairs to the uh, the kitchen to get crisps. And uh, but she didn't want to walk past the camera, and she ended up going on the live stream and saying, "Dad, Dad," and I didn't even know she was in the live stream until some night Jamie told me that, that my daughter. How you doing, Steve? All right, mate. Um, I was going to say, yeah. She ended up jumping into the live stream just to, to tell me to try and bring it, you know, <laughs> make her aware she was wanting something. Right, so this is get off my garden, and this is by whoever it is. Yeah, remains of the mutant camels. So, yeah, they're kind of having, they're kind of having digs at Jeff Minter here. What am I doing here? Am I? I've got no idea. Now you wouldn't mind them plagiarising 
Jeff's games are actually any good. Pretty say the animation for the camel isn't half bad. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, because um, Jeff himself admitted that he couldn't. He doesn't do graphics. Why is the head of that camel disappeared? He doesn't do graphics, and he always said that the uh, the camels in Attack of the Mutant Camels look like two guys inside a, a panto uh, horse. <laughs> I've got absolutely no idea. Ah, bloody hell. Right, okay, right, that's, yeah, nah, I'm not keen on this, nah. Screw you. Um, shooting the heads off camels, nah, I don't like that at all. Right, that is Pish. This is Guzzler, which looks like a kind of a uh, Pac Man y type. Is there not a Guzzler game? What's it called again? Oh, I'm thinking of something else in the arcades. Uh, Vic, not Vic 20, what am I talking about? I am talking. Utter nonsense. Right, yeah, this is Guzzler. And it's described as the arcade collect em up. This is released in nineteen eighty four press F one. Why can't you just Sign it to the joystick button. Thanks to everybody that's uh, joined in tonight. Probably going to be around another 10 15 minutes. Don't want to be too late. What? Now, I love that wee tune. I love these wee simple wee tunes. Uh, what the hell am I there? Is it like uh, Bomberman, possibly? One thing about Interceptor games, you've got to be really accurate. Come on, to move. Oh, bugger off. Excuse me. Okay, don't press the fire button and then don't move or else you'll die. <laughs> you can't be a babe, really. So what do you do for a living then? You're unemployed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, you guzzled for one minute. Send that just to the bishop. Right, let's give it one more go. That looks like the screen to Forbidden Forest. Adjust, adjustment screen. Let's try adjustment screen. Right, okay. Instead of just saying number of lives. Bomb fuse time. Come on. Interesting that they've actually given you different options. Right, start game. So I'm looking at the comments. This having comments doesn't always work when you're trying to play games. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, boys. <laughs> what did I manage to kill him? I don't know. So I'm too busy looking at the comments again. Uzzler. Why does it say Uzzler? Have I picked up a G or something? Oh, that's good. No idea. So who's actually watched uh, Bandersnatch? I quite enjoyed Bandersnatch. It's interesting to see if anyone else actually starts using the, uh, the sort of the multiple options, the multiple game kind of endings in other films. But it was really, really well done. Right, anyway. Definitely worth watching, Steve. Really, really good. If anybody's not checked out Steve's retro game show, uh, you can go and check his channel out. 
I think it's have you kind of rebooted your channel, Steve? I know you were going for a wee while, but then you've changed the name and you've got a, a new kind of funky intro. But go and check him out, Steve, as a fellow Scots person. Right, Heroes of Karn is another dull adventure game, so we're not going to play that. Jewels of Babylon is another dull adventure graphics game. Um, I remember this got quite good reviews, but I'm not going to play it because I don't like graphic. I don't like graphical adventures. This one looks interesting. Right, this is called Melon Mania. I'm sure I saw a film called that back in the eighties. And it was programmed by Unknown. No, sorry, the developer was Unknown, apparently. Um, right, okay, let's set up the joystick again. How are we doing for time? It's almost 10 o'clock. We'll probably go, I don't know, we'll just, we'll see how we go. We might take it to quarter past 10, I think. I've been watching a few of the, uh, Nef uh, not Netflix, a few of the, uh, the Black Mirrors, uh, Adam, they're actually really good, some of them are, there's one, I'm not going to spoil it, I think it's number three in season one, it's a bit like, holy fuck, it kind of messes your head a wee bit, all I would say is if you're, if you're prone to depression or sad things, don't watch it, kill all cartridges for the, for the game, and press return to start, what are you talking about? Quite say for a an interceptor game, that's not a bad title screen. Right. What the hell is that? I'm getting chased with a bloody killer pee. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? I can't jump. Pressing up doesn't do anything. Pressing fire fires buttons. Not buttons, eh. Uh, can you balloons? How do you. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I say the graphics in this are actually really nice. The of the game itself is shit, but it's actually a nice, really nice graphics. They also basically whatever way you point the joystick, you'll blow a. Uh, Adam's posted a wee link. Let's show that. There we go. One of these games, yeah, the graphics and the title screen is really nice. I mean, this is probably about the nicest looking graphic game graphically. That I've seen. Pity the game itself is shite. So anyway, let's move on. That is Melon Mania. Um, right, we're probably not going to get to the end of this. Right, this is another. Uh, let's give it a quick go. This is called Micro Rescue, and I don't mean when you find a BBC micro in the, the local uh, recycle depot. Since we're talking about BBC, I've got to say since I moved into my own place, I've got a. TV license, a hundred and it's a hundred and thirty quid. Absolutely outrageous. I hardly even watch BBC as well. Um, but unfortunately, you do need a TV license if you want to watch uh, BBC iPlayer. Although there are, sorry, there are other means to be able to watch these things. But anyway, beat the loader, micro rescue. Right, have I set up the joystick yet, lads? I don't think I have. Why did nobody tell me? Right, okay, fire. What? <laughs> right, am I trying to land on the little green base at the bottom? What the hell was that? Is that going to keep going across? So you've basically got to wait until you've got a, a clear run. Apparently. It's described as arcade miscellaneous. It looks like a a gamepad at the top that this little thing's falling out of. Yeah, Lunar Rescue clone and a bad one. Now let's try pressing the fire button. Ah, right. But because you said it's the uh, Lunar Lander, yeah, if you press the fire button, you kind of thrust.
Yeah, I just I read a, a thing. I read a thing recently saying that something like the budget for the new EastEnders um, set had run over by something like thirty million quid. You know, so you can tell where all the bloody money's going, all the TV license money's going. Paying for bollocks like that now. I, I know a lot of people enjoy EastEnders. Me personally, I'm not interested in watching soaps, but anyway, right, that is utter, 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 utter pish. Missile Command, ah, I think I did play this at one point. Right, we've got, uh, we might just about have time to play every single game once. I'm going to stick to this once because I want to try and get through them before we wrap this one up. Thanks to everybody that's uh, joined in, we're up to 23, which is nice. Yes. Life is too short, Adam, to waste on bollocks like that. Right, let's go. Oops. Missile Command. I'm sure I did play this. I think did I do a... I can't... Nah, I must have played this. I did do a... If you like Analog... So if you like Interceptor Software, I did do a... They Did What video all about them. With all their games, which I'm kind of showing you now anyway, so... Right, F7 to start. Press F1. What's that? F1 to select joystick port. Joystick port 2. F7 to start. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. And. Right, there we go. Right, okay. Now, as I keep getting slagged, but. My mate Tony Temple is the Missile Command World Champion, so I should, I should get me to play this and see if he's any good. Missile Command is a fantastic game. I mean, I've been playing it again since I got my new trackball in the meme cab, um, but it's just it's fiendishly difficult. Now, where is Mr. Bellstar? Because he should be here to tell everybody that we're up to two hours. I like how everything freezes. See, when you press the fire button, everything stops. But you know what? It's playable. That's the important thing. As anybody that watches my channel knows, it's not about the presentation. It's about the content. It's about the love that goes into the content. Oops, what happened there? Now, the secret to this game, not that I'm good at demonstrating, is not to hang about... Set your pointer, press the fire button, and then move on. I think those two cities. Right, we'll play one more level, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next game. In fact, you know what? I can't be arsed waiting on it loading up the next level. So let's go, right, Panic 64. Now this game, interestingly, was this an arcade game? This was one of the early, early games that you got on computers and I'm assuming it must have been based on an arcade game but it's not a game that I've ever that I've ever actually uh, played well, and, and MAME I've never played the arcade version of this was this an actual arcade game? Jamie you're a bit of a, a MAME connoisseur um, was this was Space Panic is that what it's called? don't think I've ever actually played it right drop the monsters to the right one player game yep Press F1 to start. Yep. Right, why am I not moving? Uh, did I set the joystick up in this? I did. Let's swap the joysticks. Right, there we go. <laughs> You've got to kill the large cherries. That looks like the big the big dude. Ah! Well, it's, I'm thinking, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to dig a hole like you would in Load runner. This is like the poor man's load runner. Beat that. What? How did that not? All oh, right. <laughs> I'm guessing that this was uh, this was written with the same game engine as the uh, as that call it crazy Kong. What am I trying to do? Are you going to try and kill the baddies? 
Brother loves the fleet. <laughs> Way. Right, okay, I've got you. So basically what you've got to do, chuck an egg without the eggs and without the enjoyment as well, I think. Safe to see that. So let's put a hole there. Why did he not die? <laughs> I like the way he brings up his legs when he's falling. <laughs> High score! Right. Bye. Right, next up, this is Quango. Whew. Right, let's uh, get the joystick set up again. Uh, controller Xbox. Now, if I'm going to do a video about Ocean Software, it'll probably have to be spread over a couple of videos because, I mean, there's something like 562,000 games from Ocean. <clears throat> we'll probably split it up into years, something like that. I don't know, Steve, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just set up to load quick. Uh, right, this is Quango. Wasn't that a game, wasn't that a film by, uh, what do you call it, Tarantino? I'm sure Interceptor Software used all the same, uh, same tunes. F1 to start. Right, here we go. Jetpack or something? Right. Apparently, yeah, it's game base. Um, apparently, you don't touch the green thing. Are these going to fall when I move under them? Ah, they do. So the play not content with plagiarising Boulder Dash, they plagiarise every other game. Oh, run, run, run. Arse. Repton, yeah, I've never, never played Repton. I always quite fancied giving it a go, but I've never actually played it. Arse. Right, See them put their names into the game as well. Anyway, yeah, that uh, I know. Ian Gray. I mean, he probably spent about five minutes writing these games. Right. Well, I've still got another few, but I might, I might choose to not play some of them. Like this next one is called Scramble Sixty Four. I've got no idea what game this is based on. Um. Let's sell the joystick. Okay. Let me think of my. Uh, Main Meister is sponsored by Aldi. Named after me. Please wait. I used to like how some of these games would say building, you know, building levels, building world, and you actually thought that it was actually building it, rather than the, the computer running so slow, it's still processing. Okay, we're gonna have to do a bit of a warp thing here. So let's see options, warp mode. Right there we go. Now we turn the warp mode off. Did I set the joystick up? I don't know if I did. Yes, I have. Right now, hopefully this is going to be joystick controlled. End key to start. There we go. Right. It appears I can't fire. Right, nothing is firing. Space. Right, I, oh, wait a minute. Right, hang on a second. So I've got to press return. You've got to press shift and return to actually use fire things. I'm using the joystick to control the movement. Please do not adjust your TV sets, guys. This is what the scrolling is like. Describe it in two words, flickery mess. <laughs> Fuck it off. Ah, 
worse. Right, that's enough of that one. That is Scramble 64. Right, this one, this is a beauty. I used to, well, I didn't love it, but it's a, it's a classic rubbish game. And this is probably the, the granddaddy of Grand Theft Auto, and this is called Siren City. Now, I did actually buy this, and it's probably one of the most difficult, most difficult games that you'll ever have the pleasure to play. Yeah, character jump movement. Yeah, it probably is written in basic. Given that it took, it had to, it took ages to load or to decompact. Right. Run, stop, quits. Infinite lives. No, no. <laughs> it's tough on them streets. Wait for them on all. They'll just jump straight in. Right, okay. Starting assignment. This reminds me of uh, Ghostbusters. Let's go for number one, shall we? Hell no. Right, I am the cop car. Now, what, what you need to do is left and right moves you left and right. You've got to press the fire button to turn. Like so now, I think. Yeah, patrol timer. I don't know what I think. If I just got to patrol the streets, now you need to be careful because you do get uh, you do get a train coming. This game would probably be quite good fun. Uh, looks like I'm at the airport. Whoa! <laughs> Aeroplane has done a big fart. Car destroyed. Right, I don't think we're going to use up all five cars. Right, patrol timer, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's... How you doing, Alan? Thanks for tuning in, mate. Have you played Interceptor Sprite Man? Not yet. Crazy Kong by Ian Gray, only from Interceptor. Yeah. You've got that right. There was something about this game that I liked, even though, yeah, it looks a bit shite. But you know what, I, I mean, it's easy to criticise games. You've got to remember, this was 1983, and if it wasn't for games like this, we wouldn't have what we're playing now. Right, is that, is that it? Oh, I'm there. Alright, okay, apparently I have completed that assignment. Right, anyway, enough of that. I don't think we get anything else. Right, next up is Spider and the Fly. Released in 1984. Let's guess, lads. It was programmed by Ian Gray, probably. Cheers, Mark. Night, buddy. Uh, Spider and the Fly, right. Is it going to load? Yeah, it's loaded, I think. Have I done the... Port 2 joystick. Joystick port 2, bink, bink. Right, let's go. Choose number of players. Choose level of level of plays. Right, listen guys, I'm going to have to take this call. I'll be back in two seconds. Hang on a second.
hands on back. Sorry about that. Right. Apparently, he was a uh, iPad was locked or something. Well, right. Anyway, where are we? Right. Choose level of play. Um, right. What the hell are we doing here? Have we got to draw. <laughs> are we trying to draw a web or something? Right, so basically what you're doing is you're drawing a web. So what you want to do is try and entice the little blighters in into your web and then kill them, I think. I wish it was Mr. Mad Moments. No, it was uh, my daughter. Right, I've got you. Interesting uh, game con uh, concept. Whoops, a daisy. Spider quicks. <laughs> Trying to use a joystick isn't particularly easy though. Excuse me. Right, I think we'll, uh, we've got the idea of this game. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, what happened there? Right, come on, why is that, why are they not disappearing? Pressing the fire button doesn't do anything at all. This game would actually be alright if you were using a mouse, I would imagine. Right, anyway, listen, that's enough of that one. That is whatever it is. What, what is that called? Spider and the Fly. Uh, right, um, listen, I'm not going to look at every... I've still got about another 10 to go. I don't want to play all of these. So I think what we'll do is we'll look at Sprite Man, because that's uh, an interesting game. Uh, there's... There's about another four we'll look at, I think, and then we'll call it. We'll call it a night, I think, guys, because, I mean, we're, we're kind of, where are we? We're up to uh, two hours and 15 minutes. I always set out to just do it for a couple of hours, and then it always rolls on and rolls on, so. Right, Sprite Man 64. This is, uh, obviously, Interceptor Software's take on Pac-Man. Set the joystick. Oh, why have they done that? Keep setting it up and then forgetting that I've done it. Right, it's obviously kind of basic, I'm guessing. And it's that man, Mr. Ian Gray again. Zippy, stilty, gippy and Chris. Right, joystick port 2. How do we start? F1 seems to always be the, the button of choice. I mean, as far as Pac-Man clones go, it's alright. I'm not overly sure about the, uh... How's it going, Al? Nice to see you, mate. You're literally tuning in to the last five minutes of this live stream. Now, it doesn't... Again, as I was mentioning earlier on, the controls are a bit... Ooh. It kind of stops. Get up. Move. I think you're probably right, Doug, actually, yeah. But you know what? That was back in the day. Come here, you old son. That's back in the day when, basically, this was such a new industry that we would pay for anything. Come on, move. Right, come on. Let's see if we can complete one level. Don't die, don't die. Get up! Ah, you sod! Hold on a minute. We've still got one life to go. Hooray! Right, that went up at that. <laughs> right, yeah, that is Sprite Man 64. Right, there's a game here called Star Trek, which is a strategy game, and I'm not even going to look at that. Right, we need to play this one, because it is abysmal. I did have that Adam, the Munch Man, the plastic thing. I actually had loads of these, and I've sold them all about mm, three, four years ago. Um to buy my uh, meme cab, and I kind of regret not having them, but you know what, I never actually played them, so what's the point of owning stuff and not playing them? Now this game is interesting because it's got speech, eventually. 
Yes, that man Jack Keelan again. That dog is just fatty. It's god awful. Ian Gray again. Seriously. I, mean, I don't want to talk and spoil the, the speech, the high score. There we go. Speech on. Now this is fiendish. This is fiendishly difficult. This game. Again, it's another China Miner type game where you've got to sort of figure out what you're doing. I've got to spell the, the letters in order, right, so I need to go for that. Come on. And then I need to go up there. And how do I get down? Oh, don't you dare kill me. Alan, uh, GTB Films, Alan uh, was uh, the young man that programmed all these uh, Spectrum games back in the day. Some of them were quite impressive, Alan, actually. It's just a bit I didn't actually pay attention to how you control some of them. Right, where am I? Does it show you what? Alright, okay. AR, so now I need to get this off. I did manage to get off the first level once. <laughs> Damn it. Right, listen, enough of that. That is a really nice. Um, right, I'm going to play... I'm just going to play one more. I mean, there's one called Token of Gaul Vortex Raider. Let's go for Trolley Wally, because I really enjoy that game. And it's got Ace Music. And again, we'll set up the joystick. It's probably a bit of a big ask to uh, play every single game in that thing, you know. You can kind of drag on a wee bit, so let's have a wee go at this. And then we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> No, 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 no. There we go. I love the music. Now that is, what's that called? Is it Popcorn? Popcorn is it called? I can't remember. I always, I always think it's John Major We Are tune, but it's not. I think it's called Popcorn. Something like that. But I always liked this game. There was something about the, ex the exploration factor that I enjoyed. Is that right? I didn't actually notice that. It wasn't made by Ian Gray. Oh, 
that didn't even touch me. Saying that OBS Studio had disconnected. I don't know if I've lost the channel. Are you guys, can you still see this? Hopefully, can somebody put a wee comment to see if you can still see it? I don't know what it said that. Can you still see this? Okay, yeah. I, I don't know, it came up. OBS has disconnected the stream or something. Ah, right. Don't hit your head on the green slime at the top. Let's venture along a wee bit. It's not a bad game, yeah, graphics. Graphics are uh... Ah, are you sorry Ox, are you seeing this in a different version? I think is it not later on in the game that it starts playing the other tune? I think it is. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Every video I put out seems to flag up copyright, but given I have made the princely sum of about 40 quid since June last year, um, money is not the motivational factor for me doing YouTube. <laughs> and I've not had a penny off it. Apparently you've got to get, is it 60 quid or something before you actually get any money? Then you've got to pay income tax in it as well, so yeah. version is a wee bit different. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, right, anyway, listen, that is game over, right? That's quite enough, I think. We're almost we're two hours and twenty-six minutes, so I'm going to I'm going to get off to my bed. I'm going to jump in a bath. Uh, I'm going to get going, guys. Um, listen, thank you very much to everybody that's uh, joined me tonight. I always appreciate all your support. It's been good fun again. Um, I will catch you tomorrow for the final waffle. Um, so anyway, guys, as always, have a lovely night, and as usual, thank you very very much for watching. Take it easy.